Konnichiwa, my name is Jisa Kura, and you're watching Pucky Cons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game, and that is Pi to Mel. Okay, so this game is one player and it does require a pocket station. It takes about nine minimal and then some on the saving. And as far as I can understand, this is a. Best way to describe it would be a texting game to friends. That way, whoever else has the pocket station, you can pass on um, texts. I guess I'm not quite sure. This, I, I I've, I've tried uh, looking at the back, read the manual the best I could. And as far as I understand, it's for you and your friends could be sitting there walking around with that app on. And then you could send each other texts through the pocket station. I guess. I am so confused that I'm... I'm puzzled. Okay, well, as always, 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing a game of version of on the call. Skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer has been started and away we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. First of all, you need a pocket station to play this. Yay. Okay, so you do that. You can have messages. Oh, I guess we'll pick the sneaky boys. And right now it's loading on to the thing. Okay. Hopefully they're not being too cheeky with the messages. That would be a little embarrassing. Okay. So. Now that it's loaded it. Um, I guess it's time to check out. See what the uh, pocket station has on it. Okay. I'm pulling up the pocket station now. Okay, so we have the first one. So it's <laughs> Ahi Yoshi. Okay. Okay. Tell So, <clears throat> I am so confused. It's, there's like 91 different things on here. So I guess it's just different phrases you can, uh, Send your friends. I, I. I'm so confused. Why? Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna plug it back in and uh, see with me messing around with anything if that's actually done anything. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. This is so weird. Okay. Alright. So now we're adding the girls on. I guess. And let's see what this has. Because the boys had 91 different... Th um things on there. Oh, 
Okay, we just got the next bit on. Taking out the pocket station now. And... There's 91 of the girls. Okay. My guess is, is that literally, um... <clears throat> See, I don't have a second pocket station to really test the multiplayer functions with it yet. It's a work in progress. I will be getting one soon. Because I definitely want to do some of the other games like Digimon. I have uh, one of those and I have a couple of the others. So... That's what my guess is that you select whatever one you want. And when you're walking by somebody who has the game, you walk over, uh, you point your thing towards them, you hold the button, and it automatically sends it really, really quick to them. And then they can be like, ha, ah, okay, send it right back to you. That's, that's my guess. And I would really love to have a second one to test that out to see, you know, the range of this. Because... And if it would work without somebody having the game installed. That's the question. Is that if you were to walk by somebody who just happens to have a pocket station, you'd be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to send this one. Sent it. And all of a sudden they're like, why is my pocket station acting weird? What's this? <laughs> or if they have to actually have this installed and turned on. Because that's the question. Oh, we got some hearts, so we got some love in here, okay. Several loveys, alright. Exclamation marks. A couple of English things in here. But yeah, it looks like each one of them, uh, the boys and the girls, have 91 different things to choose from. And it literally is just small uh, text messages you can send to each other. <coughs> Pardon me. So. That literally is the game. Huh. So. Yeah. And it's just, that's what it is. It's just little phrases. Um, you use the, uh, up. And down to go up uh, and down by one. You use left and right to go up by ten. And then you just use the action button to send them. <clears throat> and then it does take nine uh, slots uh, for it to be installed. And from there, yeah, it's just a bunch of phrases. And uh, you get to pick the girls or you get to pick the guys that's about all you get to do that is so weird uh what was that pin pal reminds me of pin pal for the ds that the game literally is bup kiss unless you actually have uh somebody else who has this and then you can have fun with it because uh pin pal in my opinion is an awesome little uh hidden gym that you have to have multiple copies of and, you know, have friends to enjoy it. Yeah, I just let it uh, set um, idle and it turns off with it right there. So I'm very curious. Now I really need to get myself a second one before I can actually try that out. But yeah, um, it just kind of reminds me of that one to where it was Poke Chat or Pocket Chat, I think it was called, on the DS. But you could make your own avatars, get into a chat room, non online features because it didn't do that. And, uh, yeah, that is so weird. Huh. Okay, well. Yeah, that is, oh, that is so bizarre. 
And if you had your own personal clique, you know, of friends in high school or whatever, or you're hanging out in the mall, I can see where this right here would just be something silly to do with friends. And that's the key. Is that it would be silly. So... Yeah. That literally is all it is. The game literally has two different things to install. Either the boys or the girls. And it's obvious what's going on is you have the two who are in love. It's obvious who. And you have the two that are trying to get them together. And those two are obvious as well. And, uh... I have to say that is probably, um, out of all the Pocket Station games I own, this is the most minimalistic uh, one I have, <laughs> I think. Because I, um, I think all of the other Pocket Station games have much more to it. So, huh. <laughs> There goes the timer. Okay, so... I personally... Like I said... If I was in high school at the time... And they had made something like this in the United States... And a couple of me and my friends had the pocket station... I guarantee you... We would use it just to be stupid. Because we would be like... We are so cool. And it'd be funny because, you know... Especially if there's some pretty fun... Little jokes or whatever on there... You can just see us being like, you know, pulling up the pocket station, beep, passing it over to a friend. You can just see people like, wait, what's that? Is that a pager? Like, no, it's not a pager. We just, uh, we're sending messages to each other. What? You know. It, it, I know it doesn't sound that thrilling now that we have cell phones, but you go, for those of you who don't, uh, who didn't grow up during that time, Without cell phones, you know, this w right here would have been fun. It would have been uh, cheeky, you know, something unique and silly to do. And that's the best way to describe it. And that's just what it would be. It would be something um, weird, but we would have fun with it. Now, I don't know if this is based off of an anime or not. I mean, I do like the art work, but that would make it even a little bit better if it were, if it is, because, you know, if, yeah, if we had something like this and it's based off of a comic book or TV series or whatever in the United States during that time, that would have been a lot of fun. I'm like, okay, well, let's say... I don't know. It's something based off of Marvel or DC. You know, we could send little uh, texts and stuff based off of those, then we would understand what they would mean. So, yeah. This literally is all that the PlayStation part is. And then the Pocket Station itself has 91 um, different texts you can send. But I'm... It looked like it was the same di uh, despite each one, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, here's one of those weird videos where I'm showing you something that I really can't show you uh, very much of it because of it's literally all in the pocket station and since it's all in Japanese, it makes it even weird, you know, it makes it to, well, I can't really read it and tell you what's on it, but... If it works how I was explaining it to where you literally you're just walking around with a friend who also has the app and you're just, you know, passing messages back and forth with 91 different responses, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a unique little thing that is a lot of fun. So, question for this video would be, if we had something like this in the United States back then, would you have uh, picked it up and had fun with your friends with it? And I basically have already answered that, for me, 
because we were nerds and geeks. We would totally 100% enjoy this. I mean, I had several friends that all we do is talk about anime. Um, I had a couple of other friends. All we do is talk about video games. So having something like this that's cheesy but f uniquely fun, I would 100% do it with my friends. And we would have fun. We literally would have fun because we'd be sitting there kind of giggling about it and people would be like, you guys are so stupid. Like, It's technology, mate. Something you wouldn't understand. You know, type, <laughs> type argument. And yeah, it, it seriously... You know, it seriously would be a, char a charming thing to enjoy. So, definitely something I would have done. So, that's my question out to you. And, of course, if any of you um, that are from Japan or were living in Japan during this time, did you actually use this? And let us know down in the comments below if you really enjoyed it. Because I'm just very curious because I, I want to know just how... How far of a distance does this actually work up to? And, uh... What type of fun you were you able to have with it? I'm just so curious because I don't have a second one where I can try those options. You know, try it actually out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This was a lot of uh, fun just to see what it was about because that's what I love doing these videos for because I don't, I don't know what... The game is going to be able to do what the pocket station will be able to do and uh, I love grabbing these and just finding out what it's all about so yeah I had a lot of fun with this one we weren't able to do very much but it's the the whole point of it just being unique and strange I like that part so yeah, this has been rather interesting, and you now we found another one of those which is just bizarrely there. But I'm happy to have it in my collection because now I can tell people I have a texting game for my pocket station, and it literally does nothing on the PlayStation except for loads it on it, and you go and you have fun with friends. Yes. This is a thing, <laughs> but I love it. So, ah, this really makes me excited. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this thing. Uh, I think it's actually a, a brilliant idea and would have been fun at the time. Thank you for watching. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.